A survey of over 100 tiger conservation areas has found less than 15% meet global standards, and at least one third of them are at risk of losing their tigers. Alarmingly, most of these sites are in Southeast Asia, where tigers have suffered the most dramatic decline over the past decade. With me now to talk about this problem is Khalid Pasha, Protected Area Specialist at WWF. Khalid, thank you so much for joining us. Why are standards so below par in Southeast Asia? Well, these, uh, this new study which we are doing, uh, we have conducted now, it's called the Conservation Assured Tiger Standards, and these are global standards which we went across more than 100 areas. Mm -hmm. uh, in Southeast Asia, the governments have to invest in a long and sustained manner, and that is not happening. And to get the tigers co conservation and protection, this is necessary. Investments, protection, resources, what will it take? to turn things around and for governments here in Southeast Asia to realize, yes, we have to do it yesterday. Well, I think so. They can pick it up from their neighbors in South Asia. Mm. India, Nepal, Bhutan, and even Russia have invested heavily. And we have seen the dramatic results of positive side. And we have seen the rise in the tiger numbers. And that's the net result of high political level and investment. And here in Thailand, they've also done the same thing as India, Russia, and Nepal, and they've also invested in the protection of the tigers. Yes, they have done that. And I think so there is also an example for other Southeast Asian countries to pick it up from there. And they should be doing the similar way and taking the tiger conservation into the lead. For the first time last year, the number of tigers grew in the wild. What are we doing right? And what can India do to boost the numbers further? Well, as I said, uh, with this study, we found out and we have seen these countries where the tiger numbers have gone up, they have been consistently, uh, have been investing, professionalizing the protected area management. And that is what needs to be taken as an example is Nepal, where the, Nepal has achieved zero poaching in three years. They've, last three years, they didn't have any other fatalities of any other wild animals, especially like rhinos they have achieved. And that's an example for other countries also. What about the likes of Russia and India? Why are they examples? What have they done right over the past years? Well, they have, they, the, the political investment has been very high and the political will is there. Their leaders take it very seriously as a tiger conservation as an issue. And that is what needs to be taken up in Southeast Asia. Is there a possibility, uh, Khalid, that tigers could be taken off the endangered list permanently? Well, if we start looking forward to these investments, maybe in the next 10 years, we would be there. Thank you so much for your insights and for joining us here on Newsday. Khalid Pasha, a protected area specialist with WWF.